Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Peter Pan and Wendy. The new Peter Pan and Wendy trailer just dropped and well, Disney hasn't learned a thing. The trailer opens with an introduction to the Lost Boys who are not at all surprisingly gender swapped. But if that were not enough, the young girls slash Lost Boys specifically identify as boys. And when questioned about it, they get an attitude. I should say, the black girls get an attitude because they're dark skinned and sassy and that's not stereotypical at all. But you're not all boys. So? We're also introduced to Wendy, who is highlighted in full girl boss glory. It's pretty clear she's the real star of this film and that comes as no surprise at all. I'm actually more shocked that they didn't just name the film Wendy. Of course, all the bad guys are still white men, from what I can tell, because diversity is only for good guys. Patriarchy bad, white men bad, and all that. We also get introduced to Peter Pan himself, who is a brown skinned kid of some sort of Caucasian or mixed background. And lastly, we're introduced to Tinker Bell, played by Iranian and Black American actress Yara Shahidi. I did a video on her casting two years ago when it was announced, and you can check out my thoughts on that in the link in the description, but suffice to say, while I do like the actress, I'm really tired of Hollywood taking this cheap route of just repainting characters with brown skin for nothing really, just woke points here and there without actually investing in diverse stories and characters or creating new ones. It's pandering, but it's also dismissive of what diversity really means. It's disingenuous concern and downright racist in its own way. And I don't understand why so many other people haven't picked up on it. The only silver lining here is that Tink does appear to maintain her femininity as a character. And she's beautiful, which she should be. As for everything else in this trailer, it looks great visually. The costumes are nice. And I do love the various set pieces, but it's Disney. I would expect nothing less than style over substance these days. I hope the writing makes me forget about everything else that stands out as a deal breaker, but given the dialogue in the opening scene, I doubt there's much hope to be had that this won't just be a woke fiasco. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.